Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tableau 10 tutorial. We're really excited to be bringing you some of the new features that are available in Tableau 10. And this one is one of my personal favorites, clustering. So those of you familiar with machine learning uh, might know that, that clustering and regression are two big topics. And even if you're not, clustering is just the idea that we have some, we have some groups in our data set. Um, but those groups might not be something that we actually have data about. So we're, we're, uh, we're kind of wondering, can we discover those groups from the data that we, that we do have? So, uh, so right now I'm going to show you one of the classic data sets related to clustering. This is from a UCI machine learning repository. What we have is a, is a small data set of iris flowers and uh, some qualities about them. So uh, some of the pieces of information that we have are the, sep the sepal length, the sepal width, petal length, petal width, and then we have uh, what species of iris it is. So is it iris setosa, versicolor, virginica? So I went ahead and copied that data from that, from that website into a text file. So we'll go ahead and connect to that. It's just a CSV here. And you notice that we have these, uh, we have the numbers of all these different values here, sepal length, and then we also have what species of flower it is. So we'll go ahead and jump in here. And so we're going to try to figure out, you know, can we discover what species of flower it is just by looking at these numbers here. So let's say that we were to make a scatter plot from the petal length, the petal width, and the class. Let's go ahead and click scatter plot. I'll drag class to color, and then I want to go ahead and uh, not aggregate those marks so that we see all of them out here. So these are the measurements of petal width versus petal length and colored by what species of flower it is. So let's say that we, we didn't have this class though. Let's say that all we had were some measurements here, and we were trying to figure out, you know, can we divide this data set into these different clusters? Well, thanks to a new Tableau 10 feature, feature, clustering, now we can. We just drag this cluster option in analytics to cluster, and you see that it already clusters it pretty much exactly like what we just saw was actually in the data set here. Uh, so this is automatically choosing the number of clusters, but since we know there are three different species, I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And here, Tableau already knows that we're, we're trying to cluster these into different groups based on petal length and petal width. So we can go ahead and, and leave that as is. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and jump over here and just do the original graph like we had. And now I'm going to put both of these on the same dashboard just so you can see how closely Tableau really does get to the actual clusters. You'll notice that these, these, uh, the blue ones here are all ex exactly correct. And we just have a few mistakes up here right at the boundary, but you know, there's no good reason why these should be right here but be classified as red and not orange. So it's understandable that Tableau would make a mistake right there with this clustering. One cool thing that we can do also is if we go back to our original clustering sheet, if we control click drag this, we can make these clusters into their own dimension over here. So now we have that as its own as it as its own field. I'm going to edit this group. Let's jump back over here really quick. And I'm going to I'm going to rename these to the clusters that they're representing. So that's Iris Setosa. All right, awesome. Now I'm going to make a calculated field using this cluster field. And I'm just going to say this is going to be our successes. And I'm going to set this equal to our class. So what this is saying is this is going to give us a true or false based on whether we classified that specific flower, that measurement, correctly or not. So let's go back to our new sheet drag out successes, we see the true and false, and then we'll look at just, you know, how many we got right and how many we got wrong. 
We'll go ahead and sort that, flip it, and throw it back on our dashboard here. And so you see that we actually only got six wrong, which is really good for not necessarily even knowing what class these are. If we hadn't had class originally, we still could have figured it out. So now one last cool thing. Let's go ahead and throw our dashboard actions in here. And now if we filter to just the true, then you can see these values kind of come in and out, which are the only incorrect values that we have. Now if we click on false here, you'll see that these are the specific values that were classified wrong because they're really close to that boundary. You'll see that Tableau is automatically reclustering these. And uh, that's not an issue for us right now, but that's just something to keep in mind going forward. All right, and with that, the opportunity for this is, uh, is really up to your imagination of what you want to do with it. So I hope that you will play around with these clustering, uh, the new clustering analytic option. Maybe even go download this data set and try looking at some other scatter plots. Look at a, you know, petal length versus a, you know, sepal length, for instance, um, and see see how those look whenever we try to cluster them. So this is with the original class. And then this is with the cluster. Um, let's do three clusters there. Play with it yourself. See what you can discover. Let us know if you find anything really cool. And I hope that you learn something new.